for smashing my trees. Hmm, these elves aren't kidding around. You have to do something. You'll need to draw mana from lands to cast your spells. Hello, welcome to another episode of the Magic Arena Run. We're taking a look at the new iteration of the beta. So right now we have this little wisp or for those who played Zelda, na this little navi thing telling us what to do. So right now it's telling us to play a land. Let's just follow its instructions for now. Good. So, okay. You don't have enough lands to cast your cast spells, your spells yet, so, that so that's all you can do right now. So, it, uh, so it gives us a basic tutorial of sorts. Also, I like there the new interface. It shows us. Oh, this one taps for white. Yeah, that forest taps for green. No land where else play to begin with. Land, so you can summon a creature. Okay, so it's gonna. So we're gonna play another land. You can summon creatures from across the multiverse to fight for you. Hmm. Gee, I wonder who I'm gonna summon. So this one's showing us how mana costs are paid. So it shows us, it shows us the, it gives us an idea that the one is a generic cost and that the white symbol is a white only cost. So we're gonna do just that. Summon Shrine Keeper. Then damage dealt when attacking or blocking, damage required to be destroyed. Okay, so it gives us an idea Not of what power and toughness step. are. And note it gives us the original symbols as if, as if this was back in Portal. Opponent hasn't done anything. Your tap cards untap at the beginning of your turn. Okay, tell us about that. You can play another land. Play another Shrine Keeper. Yep. And summoning creatures can't attack on their first turn, You're so it gives us that instruction. So we can choose no attackers or we can choose all attack. So press the all attack. Click the button to confirm or cancel. Okay, so it's giving us a little basic on creatures tap when they attack. Okay, so it teaches us some of the basics little by little. Actually I like this. It tells us about what to It it, it tells us about um and in a sense I usually have a problem teaching people how to play magic sometimes, like I would teach them from the very beginning. This approach is actually a lot better in a sense. Basically, you teach them the, the initial parts of tapping, casting, attacking, and whatnot. We can cast... What? <coughs> this one died. Let's um, go into combat first. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Okay, so we'll do just that. All attack. This is probably going to tell us that it's up to the opponent to decide what he's gonna block. Yep, your creature has been blocked. Oh, it shows us this interesting graphic. So, so it's probably gonna show, yep. I do wish they have a better way of um, showing damage rather than just dropping the toughness. Admirable. I have to crush you. Yeah, cause usually one problem we eventually get down the line is, oh, if I drop, if I drop the toughness a bit, damage drops it down, whatnot. Whoa, that beast is huge. Okay, and we're in trouble. Watch out! If you attack now, your creatures will get pummeled. So it's giving us a suggestion not to attack. And you notice that it highlights the one that it suggests. I think that's what it's doing. You have a strong fighting spirit. But now I will show you true strength. Oh dear. But this is the part of the tutorial where it teaches us how to survive how to survive by chump blocking. Don't worry. One of your creatures can block it. So we're gonna do the smart thing and sacrifice the Shrine Keeper. And it's probably gonna give us a pump spell later, like an adamant will, I think. Yeah. Yeah, a small creature will block all damage. Yeah. Looks like you have a trick up your sleeve. And we got Take Vengeance. This is actually in core 19, so it's actually quite nice. So. You're not making this easy. 
actually interesting that they brought back the sword, the sword and shield I iconography from uh, from Portal. Ooh, We've opponents. got you cornered. Cast your spell to clear the way. <laughs> yep, typical of a tutorial, but it's a very okay. I'm gonna do it as intended. I'm pretty sure someone's going to try to make a video of what what happens when you don't do it as intended. So yeah, there's a little bit you of a lag well. here. Perhaps we'll meet again. So as you can see, it's um part of a series of five. You. But when, actually, when you start it up, it just boots you right into the tutorial quite immediately. So, it it took me a, it took me a while to get the video set up recording. But anyway, we're gonna unlock this new card, claim that prize, and it's really gonna make us go through all. Actually, there's an option to skip the tutorial, but where's the fun in that? Hey, if we wait a few turns and hopefully get black mana, we could probably cast Triska Decophobia. His creature. Okay, so this one's now teaching us about some of the um the yes. evergreen the evergreen mechanics. Oh, don't worry. That thing's basically harmless. Yeah, it's a 19 turn clock. So this one taught teaches us about haste. It's probably the one thing that's gonna get most people playing red decks. And I'll be okay, maybe worry just a little bit. If I see a, if he has white, I would really worry because that's bit. Okay, time to start the second blood. All right. Whoever wrote the script here. You need to mount a defense. But this one's interesting. This one doesn't only just teach you about putting down the creatures and swinging. This one teaches you a bit of the concept of... Oh, you might, probably might need to hold stuff back too. Okay, so... Actually, you can just click, but dragging is also a good way to do it too. So, looks like a point. Okay, that one's an atypical play. I've got more, but I, can't I bet. Run. I bet this is the part where they teach us how to double block. Oh, teaches us about what happens to damage at the end of turn two. Okay. So we got some options. We got this nice small blocker. I'm kind of skipping over this a bit. So if Navi has any if script the options. Big enough to survive being blocked. Hold them back. Yeah, no attack. Yeah. So it's probably gonna teach us. Everybody but me. Charge. Okay. Bonus points to whoever can, whoever can quote remember who said that quote. Now. We're gonna do the smart play and just d dump both of these on Goblin Bruiser. There, you can also just chump block these eventually, and most likely this game is set up so you could you could also ch eventually chump these guy these guys to take him out. But we'll take the one damage for now. Now let's hope. Our, and it looks like our po the the tutorial is not. Uh, oh wait. Well, two can play it that game. <laughs> okay, is he gonna play something? Goblin grenade to the fate. Okay, I th I don't think for a second I thought you were gonna dump a goblin chain whirler. Yeah. Okay, let's dump that. So now we're kinda catching up to our opponent a bit. Where's an army of expendable minions when you need one? Oh, here it is. Okay, what's this now? 
Oh my. So, yeah, it has an effect when it enters the battlefield. Oh, hey, it's the guardian that we picked up a while ago. And what do you know? I think the game was set up so that we could probably survive if we well, that ought to stop them. If, if 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 we played the few turn if we did held back the planes for some reason. So gonna send the shrine keeper in. Let's see, our opponent's gonna block with goblin gang leader. Yep. I probably might have opted to send send the block with these two instead. Never hold back. Never back down. Never walk barefoot in a goblin wiring. Okay, good. Sage advice. Sage defense. It's time to bring the pain. Oh dear, what now? What in the multiverse is that? You know what? That's a good question. I've ne this card is probably definitely designed for the tutorial. And yeah, it's a nice way to show off the rare symbol. So we're definitely not attacking. Knowing the computer is probably gonna attack. Oh wait, you know what? We'll s we can send one guy to attack. Let's see what. He is he gonna just w is he gonna just trade this off willy nilly? No, he's not. Yeah, give him some credit. Now we have to block. A good general knows when they're beat. So you should probably give up now. <laughs> this goblin talks a lot. Have okay. mercy on me, please. Well, he has one more card in hand. Actually, I... I bet he has a combat trick, so... This might not be the end of this tutorial. Or is it? Is it? Okay, I'm gonna comment that uh, if you're if you're wondering, yeah, this is not just an FPS drop. It it is slowing down on me too. I guess I guess you can hear the voice of the multiverse. Everyone playing through the tutorial. So I guess our next lesson is gonna be about auras. Oh yeah, did I mention that they're probably gonna do the stress test on this a few day a day or so later after this? So this is probably the best time for us to learn from this. Also an interesting thing to note is that um they are going through all the different Let colors. Let's see if you can fight the tide or if you will be washed away. You can do this. I'm sure of it. Makes you wonder what colors did. I'd be surprised that this is the will of the wisp or our final enemy is black. Even the smallest may have useful abilities. Creatures of the jungle, sure, but you're blue. You mean creatures of the... Well, not creatures of the islands. Yeah, so... This one's gonna show us about stuff we can't block. That, that's why you... Makes, that's why you notice the, the other aura gets some... Um, gives flying also. To give. So, now we have a race on our hands. Opponent's gonna... Yeah, this teaches about that auras. Can fly over any blockers on the ground. And teaches us about flying. I wonder if this going to teach us about the 241. You draw an aura. Let me guess. You want me to play the aura. And if this is I a see. You are closer to enlightenment than I thought. I don't think I'm closer to enlightenment if I'm opening myself up to a two for one. Well, then again, I know this is a tutorial, but if you have an uh, if you had an unsummon, I would really be screwed. That is a one ca casting cost spell. It oh, okay. Some creatures can beguile you with their charm. Oh, look at his little hat! So cute. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'll give it that. So.
Unfortunately, you can't click on the you can't click on Navi to get um get tutorial advice. Pro well, strategically, there's no point in attacking, so we're not gonna attack. Heaven for a friend that he dumps another aura on this guy. Take the beast. How will you fare when I turn your river into a stream? Oh, gee, what now? Okay, so it also teaches us about offensive auras. Well, I'm actually thankful you did not cast on Sanctuary. Keep going. You can do this. So, this one is about opening ourselves up to a tree for one. Yeah, this would be a perfectly cute combo. And meanwhile, we're still taking beats, but... If you keep to the shallows, you will never learn the secrets of the dead. Okay, what now? Water not time X2? Oh, divination. Short pull. So actually, let's give them credit. This one teaches us about the flyer strategy. You, where you play flyers, and you also play ground creatures that are very good blockers. We actually had the Bono Blue Skies deck for quite quite a while in the meta. You know, the one with them um, curious, with the curiosity that you have to always attack with. So now we're out of cards. I bet the next thing they're gonna give us is the uncommon aura. Opponents. Ooh. Behold. A titan of the deep. I was gonna say we're not gonna get past that. Now we are. So let's see. I can probably just leave this guy behind to block. Let's use the same strategy that they're doing. So we'll cast to make Spirit Guardian bigger. Then we're gonna send this one on the attack. We can get him next turn unless he holds Sephiroth to block. Oh, and then this one teaches us that now we have, now we do the same thing. We hold back to block too. So does he have something else that flies? Nope. Right, knock him out of the water. Yes, sir. And you know what? Uh, you know what? Let's just um, buff the kitty too. Let's take out one of those. Yeah, there is a significant amount of lag in this. Oh, and he didn't even bother to block. Not bad for a dry walker. Not bad at all. Probably should buff the volume in my. Okay. So, so we're getting our next lesson is now going to be about instants. This is actually not bad for a sip. So all those cards that we saw earlier here, yeah, very scripted. So... Ooh, this is gonna be... Yeah, these are all definitely written for the... So... I wonder... I would expect this to be black, but I won't be surprised if it's white. Given the... Oh no, this is probably black. This that's definitely so tight. Or is it? So this one's Why don't you make the first move? I insist. Let me guess. Fatal push. Hmm. She's up to something. Well, we'll oblige for her. Again, the strategy behind this is to always play out your stuff. Yes, go on, attack me. I'm sure that will work out well for you. Wow, snarky. You know what? We'll oblige. Well, because we can't keep on. This is my favorite part. We can't keep on living in fear of what our opponent does. We have to. We have to force our opponent to do stuff eventually. Oh, hey, look. They actually get scorpions walking Don't around now. Get under your skin. 
so they've improved the animation slightly. Oh, it's actually yeah, the gro it's a bit more interesting now. Let me guess, murder on Shrine Keeper. And I guess this is the part where it teaches you also that it's not enough to just answer threats. You have to also present threats of your own. Well, this one works as both though. The toughness is quite low. I, pro I do wish they had the way to expand the phase section here. So some people are gonna get confused as to when when to play that when to play the flash creature. So we now got a knight's pledge. That all of a sudden I really don't want to cast. I'm just gonna go into comp. Enchant your creature before attacking for more damage. Okay, this part is scripted already. I bet he's gonna respond with oh no response okay let's okay murder oh no it's just a jump blocker wait it's two more mana it's got something else oh so this one teaches us that follow your removing passion, the I just just say. get the Might as if well the get blocker disappears the love. damage still gets blocked there's no champ trample tutorial here, but moment. I like how it teaches some of the um, basic, I wouldn't say basic, some of the interactions on a basic level. No, that's not right. Um, it teaches some interactions that will happen over time. So we, now, so this is the Be part careful. where. If you take another hit like that, it's all over. Yep. So it's now telling us to hold back. Block first, then it's time for some trickery of your own. Okay, this one. Now this one's teaching us about the timing. It also helps that um that it's very specific target blocking or block Cast feature. It now. So that is one way to force a tutorial to work properly. Cre very um, clever. And cre um, create limitations in the spells. If this had just been a one that you can cast plus two, What's plus the matter? two, losing your nerve. A lot. Okay. Do I attack? Let's see. He's gonna. Okay. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> You've fallen right into my trap. Get ready. Okay. Yeah, this one teach it now this one teaches a double block. If we hadn't learned it already. Oh, I see. Tricky tricky. <clears throat> I guess I should accept my fate. I'm a goner. <laughs> Okay, so this is the part where... Let me guess. Removal spell! Oh no! No removal spell? Oh wait, Looks no. like you've let your guard down. Oh, he drops... How many of these? He's cast four of them already. Five. Hey, that's an illegal deck! Okay, it's for the tutorial. Forgive me. Now, I wish they had other... Now it's my I turn. wish they had other creatures with this name so that it... Hurry! Make some blockers. Yeah, I guess it wants us to expend all of them. We could win the next turn, but let's 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 unplay this through. Let's see how it happens. Lose already. Let me guess, Knights. Oh. Now you've got us. Yeah, they they had the insurance to make sure you won, won next turn. Yeah, there's definitely a slowdown when you're just about oh, to win. Now, they probably should create a... They probably should have developed the deck so that 
you never broke the four of rule. It's gonna confuse some people eventually. Maybe not so much. Okay, we got all these rewards, but I need to check. Are these in the welcome decks? This would. If these are in the welcome decks, I guess it's okay. Well, at least Sarah Angel's um le currently legal. Not so fast, Planeswalker. I still have one more lesson for you. Okay, this is part. Where oh, <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> and you thought. Okay, I guess this is where he teaches us about multiple colors of mana now. I guess that's gonna be the most important one. And I guess this is the part where they teach you that Nicol Bolas is a badass. There is no greater folly than to stand against me. Yeah, this one's prob this one's probably um prime so that we lose. We'll see. Okay. Each player discards a card. Tough decision. Not tough. You discard the land. Did he just throw away a dragon? You look surprised. I do as I choose with what is mine, and it is all mine. Whoa. So there's probably gonna be a reanimation strategy. Everything here exists or perishes at my whim, including you. Okay, we're gonna see. The, is there a whip? Okay. So at least we curved out. I wouldn't be surprised if um if this is programmed like if you play this, then the next card you draw is gonna be this. Oh and you see he's holding And as you see he's holding back, not like that um goblin from a while ago. So going to attack, he's gonna block, we're gonna play tactical advantage so that we still have a creature. Under most normal circumstances, I probably would have accepted the trade. But this is a tutorial, Not, is nothing is uh, normal. Like that. This, and this one gives us our first look at what black and red look like, despite the weird ca casting cost. And Navi's not commenting anymore, which is probably scary. So we now have a race situation in our hands. I'll be surprised if they programmed it so that you win against Nicol Bolas. Witness true power. Oh, so he's playing a sorcery. In the next instant, you can. So this one shows us about um, abilities that happen over time. What does this do? Each creature without like. Okay, so that wipes my entire board. Whoa! Whoa, indeed. I guess next draw is a land. I guess they're not gonna show they're not gonna teach us the fundamentals of mana screw or mana flood. And this is really a really bad creature. One four for six. Well. Woo. Yeah. My triumph is at hand. Ah, I see the I see the pun. Hand. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, they're gonna give us a inspiring charge next turn. We just might be able to pull this off. Yep. This is luck. This is no mentor of the meek, but I'll accept it. Oh yeah, speaking of which, me Mentor of the Meeks back in... No, back again in Standard. Oh great! It conveniently does not wipe out or inspire... All succumb to Bolas. It doesn't let Hold us back, emote yet. So you can prepare for his attack. 
Okay, no attack. Well, okay. So it's telling us let the chaos more attack. Oh my. <laughs> Let's see what's. Sorry. So it shows us triggers. You can't cast that. You can cast that. You can't cast. Perhaps I've underestimated so you. Definitely want to block that. Yeah, I definitely want to block with these two. Submit blockers. Tactical advantage. Please don't screw me over now with an unsummon. Okay, not yet. Not screwed over yet. Congratulations. You're actually beginning to annoy me. I'll accept that as high praise. So another tactical advantage. I think I'm gonna play run out the sanctuary cat. This might be the long grindy game. What? Oh, conven and they conveniently left enough for us to sacrifice Sarah well Angel. Done. No haste. So we're gonna just keep dealing chip damage at this rate. Enough of that. What's he gonna play now? Hour of Devastation? Okay, he finally got rid of the card advantage guy. Oh, he's down to an ancient crab. Yikes, I ran I think they leave us. Submit or be destroyed. <laughs> okay, good. It's a good thing we held back the Sarah Angel. Held back the Sarah Angel there. So this one teaches the power of vigilance. Now he could just swing. Is he gonna swing? Yeah, he's gonna swing with the entire team. We're gonna block the. Combat trick. This is it. Okay, we now have a way to also. Yeah, so it's a good thing we didn't pull the trigger on this guy yet. Wait, did we just win? Someone with talent to serve as my general. Find me and rule the multiverse at my side. Oh no, I'm gonna find you and hit. Oh well, we'll leave that to the gate watch. So they give us a. Okay, so now we have new, new starter decks to work with. It's actually gonna be fun. We're gonna we're gonna work with all of these. So let's take a look at uh, and and they give us a few packs as well, so we can crack those open. Let's see. Oh wait, so they they still give us all our old stuff. Let's let's double check first. This is the original one. Yep, nothing's lost. They give us a bunch of the new stuff also. Yeah, but otherwise, yeah, so there's so it's a new addition. It's not pure reset. So, yeah, we'll continue with our regularly shown programming. We might even go over some of the additional packs, I think. Let's see cuz I don't see the beginner decks here. You know what? I'm gonna s oh there there they are here are the beginner decks we might actually go over some of these too. I might actually go over these first because these are more timely and probably more relevant. And oh yeah, because of the server downtime, we got some more gold. So that's it for a quick look on the. So this is just a very quick, not a hot take. It's just a very quick take on the. On on the new on the new experience. Let's take a look at the deck. 
no planeswalker but there no planeswalker but some interesting rares and mythics so i might actually just take these out i might actually take these out on a spin on the beginner's track i might have to the i might have to lower my how do you say this lower my level a bit just to reach that one and we actually got the new as you also notice the vault is kind is gone so we now have the new wild card track let's see what happens so as you can see these pump up over time nice oh this is actually this is an actually interesting addition to vampires but we'll s but we'll see that might not be necessary so now we got the wild card this should probably reset Sign Master Top Dress. So we got a bunch of things we can play around. Yeah, we see that reset. I guess what happens is that this alternates between rare and mythic. And we still get wild cards on this slot, so it's not too bad. Hmm. Tempting. Any anyway, so that that's it for this run. Oh, that's before that, let's also check our profile. No nickel bolas, come on. Together. So you get to choose the avatar you can go with now. I kind of play with everyone, so I'm just going to choose Karn. Well, they also have um, Vivian Reed. Sarkant's back. Tezzeret's in. Chaya Ballard. Actually, so that means there is only one black option. One white. A white blue. Well, so I guess there's a blue black. There's also only one blue option. Sarkhan's technically reddish, I guess. Well, tons of red here, I suppose. Anyway, Karn, Karn it is. And let's take a look at the store just to... So, usual purchase packs, purchase gems. You can change between Euro and US Dollars. Can't change to my local currency. And prices are still the same. But... Also, but do note that you don't get wild cards anymore with the purchase of ma masses of packs. So that is an that's an interesting change. Gems still the same price. So that's redeem code. I know they've only given codes to New Zealand. So that's it for the beta. It's actually yeah, I've got something a lot of things to think about. So, okay, let's take a look at the. Oh. Okay, now this is an interesting reward. Aside from this one that gives us packs, and this one's actually fully lo loaded to bear. We now actually get reward. They give us, I think these are beginner rewards. Like, it will give us a basic deck. So, pretty much. For beginners, they'll be starting with the five pre-con decks. Then they'll be working towards these um, multicolored decks. So this is very interesting. So let's take a look. Oh, competitive draft is 2019. Kind of wish I saved the gems there, but I had no idea that about the status of the reset or non-reset. Definitely will be quick drafting for later. We now have competitive play and free play. And there's now competitive constructed as well. Oh wait, no, we've been doing competitive constructed. We, I guess, the competitive play is. Oh yeah, they said that um competitive play is um best of best of three ladder. So no cost to enter, allows us to uh, gives us a good way to test before we commit to a competitive constructed. But I might start just free play for now, r run with the basic decks, just to see how things go. Probably lose a lot of my constructed rank, but hey, the things I th the things I do for science. So that's it for this episode. We can even replay the tutorial, though. Yeah, this is a good way to get newer players in. So that's it for that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you see, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, so this is this gives us a quick look on what the new on what has changed and it is it is more beginner friendly so the use of 
Magic Arena as a gateway to bring new players in, this is probably how I would start it. Uh, now, th again, th some things I noted like prob probably the the tutorial against the the tutorial against the Soul Tide Girl, the one playing the black deck. Maybe don't break the four of deck building construction rule. They're it's gonna confuse some people down the line. But anyway, that's uh, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you guys again with next time when I figure out what I'm gonna finally do. Probably will test those pre-contacts. Thank you very much.